Should residents have to pay out of their pockets to fund parks like Voice of America here in Westchester? It's the question voters in Butler County will have to answer come November. It's fishing day at Voice of America Park for Nick Gerlos and his two sons. We're out here fishing for a little while. It's a little warm to fish, but uh, they're off school. Residents like Gerlos can pay for a $10 annual permit to get in the metro parks of Butler County, but soon those who don't even use the park could also be paying for them. We're the largest park district in the state of Ohio that doesn't have its own funding. That's the problem. Park commissioners voted to put a 0.5 mil property tax levy on the ballot. It would last six years and cost about $15 a year per every $100,000 in home value. We're now down to the point where we're going to start closing in the fall. If this doesn't go through for next year, we'll be closing some of the larger parks. The money would help reopen closed parks and add new equipment to existing parks like playgrounds and restrooms. Park goers are playing both sides of the field on whether they'll fund it or not. If so many people use this park, I would definitely support a parks levy. Lakota's having a lot of trouble with, with, with money and management of money, and uh, I definitely am a stronger supporter of education. Mm -hmm. I think that would have to come first. Reporting in Westchester from Butler County, Tiffany Teasley, Fox 19 News.